Hello my friends, this is Victor, welcome back to my channel. If you found me randomly, uh, my name is Victor, I'm a flight attendant and every week I share with you some tips on how to travel in better conditions. And recently I've been a passenger on the flight and I was getting really, really bored. When I'm a crew, I'm actually working and keep myself busy because there's always something to do, but when you're a passenger and you sit on this flight for like five, six, ten hours, what do you want to do? So today I'm going to share with you 10 things you can do when you're on a plane to kill the time and to make your flight more enjoyable. Welcome aboard! I'm so happy I'm making this video. I've been thinking about it for a while. So, uh, first tip number uno, what to do, is this one is quite obvious, is to read a book. There's probably some books you plan to read, you wanted to read, they've been suggested by friends, but he never took the time to read them because he's busy, like I've got four jobs, I don't really have time to read a book. Um, but when you're sitting on a plane, what else? You've got time for it and if you take several books, well, you, if it's boring, you just change for another one. Uh, so you can take the old-fashioned book, you know, the one with pages, like we used to do, we still do some. But uh, if you don't want to carry too much weight, you can have your, a few books on your tablet, on your Kindle, on your iPad, on whatever device you want. Um, it's quite easy nowadays, it's quite cheap. Uh, or if you don't want to hold it, Anything, that's completely fine. Um, you can get audiobooks. Audiobooks are available in there's so many titles available nowadays. Uh, just listen to it, close your eyes, and dive into the book, and someone is doing the reading for you. Tip number two, meditate. So you might not be in meditation, but you know what? You are squeezed maybe in economy between two passengers or between a passenger and an aisle or a window, and you can't really move. Why don't you try to meditate? And um, just close your eyes, find a, find a position that's kind of comfortable. I know it won't be perfect, you're not in a yoga studio or you're not on your bed or in your living room, but try to find a place where you can actually feel alright. Close your eyes, start to connect with your breathing and then start meditation. And if you don't know really how to do meditation, if you're scared that your thoughts will go everywhere, that's alright. Uh, there's actually some very good apps to help you for that, so I'll put uh, in the link below a few of them, I think I'm going to put two, but if you're using a meditation apps, feel free to add them in the comments, so the more uh, options we have, the better it is, and you might find one that works for you. But think about it, like you have to be still, you need to be able just to control your breathing and then control your thoughts. It's a perfect place, no one's going to bother you, except if it's a meal time, but that's another story. Number three, and I've done that, but not in a plane, in a bus, netting. Um, I've never done any netting in my life and I remember I was about to board a bus with my friend Leslie and it was going to be like a six hour uh, drive and there was a um, netting shop right across the street so I went there and asked for a beginner's kit and uh, I'm sure you'll find some and you can also ask if it's going to be for flying us make sure that the needles you're taking are approved for flight because I would guess some might be considered as weapons so make sure you take the proper kit uh, for flying and then some instructions and start to do something it might not look like anything at the end but like come on you're gonna learn something to do with your fingers I remember I did the first row and I've been told it's the most difficult part but I couldn't manage to do the second row and an old lady came next to me and she was so impressed that a young gentleman that was years ago was doing some netting because it's something that usually older people were doing so uh, why not to try to do something nice with your hands? Number four, write a letter. There's probably someone you say you would write a letter or they send you a letter and you've already responded, you send an email, but sometimes it's nice. Um, it's nice to receive a handwritten letter, it's so old fashioned way, but uh, beside the Christmas card, usually I don't do many of them. Um, Take the time, take a piece of paper and a pen and just write something to a good friend, someone you haven't connected, an auntie you haven't seen in years, uh, or someone you want to share something, you wanted to say something, you never say directly to them, and you never took the time to look really for the correct words, and would it be a nice way to do it in writing? Uh, so write a letter, and why not? It doesn't take space, it doesn't cost much, and it makes someone happy. Next tip, there's probably a kid that's uh, alone in the plane, well I mean alone, he's with the parents, but uh, a little bit bored and sometimes the parents had enough to find to be creative to play with kids, so find a kid and play with them. So of course, uh, introduce yourself to the parents and and try to make a nice connection with the kid. You're not taking the kid away from the parents, but uh, tell him a story, uh, if you know a nice story that will be interesting for a kid, uh, play with the Legos, do something with them, uh, might keep them busy. The parents know you can't run away with a kid outside of the aircraft anyway, so they keep an eye on you in because you never know who's playing with the kid, but uh, maybe that could be something fun to do. Uh, the kid won't be as bored and he'll keep you busy. 
Now maybe you have your laptop uh, with you uh, or your phone with you. It's a good time to do some cleaning in that. Uh, clear old emails. I usually take this opportunity to clear my inbox. Like old emails, I never deleted them, but do I need them? Some of them are like a year old and I don't need this response about whatever happened. So uh, I just do a nice cleaning or do some archive. It's all offline. And when I land, uh, once I'm here beside the airport or at the office, I'll just sync and everything will go uh, nicely in place. So usually I land uh, much lighter in emails in my mailbox than when I took off. Uh, you can do the same with your photos in your phone. Maybe you took like 10 times the same 10 shot and you actually just want to keep one of this photo uh, instead of 10. So you can also do a cleaning, clear some space because you know, even though now we've got those clouds, we can hold so much but your device is always limited in what you can hold. So uh, take this time, do some cleanup. That's not something I've done, but again, my friend Leslie, I talk a lot about Leslie today, uh, is into coloring, so maybe it's a good time to color a book. Bring some pens and a coloring book and you can easily kill one or two hours just by coloring a book. Number eight, uh, if you're traveling overseas in a country that doesn't speak English, well, maybe it's a good time to learn a language. So there's some um, good apps for that. Uh, one coming to my mind is Duolingo. Um, I know it would be a little bit awkward to do the repeat out loud with other passengers around you. So uh, you can still learn how to uh, say and understand the words and then go just with basic language skills. Um, you've got some time to kill. Those apps are usually quite interactive and nicely done. And even if when you land, you've learned only 15 to 20 words, well, trust me, people really like when you try to speak the language when you're visiting the country. Each time I go to Japan and I say my five words that I know, people are always impressed and always get a massive smile. So that can make a difference. Number nine, uh, work on your budget. It could be the budget for your holidays or for this trip, but it's also gonna be your yearly budget. So um, you've got some time, why don't you do it? Open Excel and start to uh, key in these numbers and see if you're gonna be broken or very rich at the end of the year or plan to be very rich at the end of the year. And number 10, uh, maybe you're taking a nice camera with you when you're going on holiday to take beautiful photos or videos, something else and your phone. Um, I've got the one I'm using to film now, but honestly, I know how to use five functions on it and it's probably much more than that. So uh, maybe it's a good time to learn and play with your camera and you maybe you can take some interesting shots with uh, your camera from your seat, from the window, from the aircraft, but um, try to play with different settings and you might learn how to make even better photos. Uh, and if you download uh, some videos on how to use your camera, but you can practice that. Again, this is sometimes maybe you don't have to do on the ground, but you can do it in the air. Et voilà, these are my 10 tips on how to make your flight a little bit faster and less boring. Uh, again, if you have like only a flight of two or three hours, usually I just sleep and I always wake up when a meal cart just pass my row, uh, but I'm sure it's the same for you. So if you have any other ideas or things that you like to do when you're on a plane, well, feel free to put them in the comment below. Uh, if you like this video, you can put a thumb up. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit subscribe. There will be a new video every week. In a few weeks, I'll merge the English content of my channel to a specific channel, but for now, stay here. Here. I'll keep you posted and then I'll see you next week. Bye.